Listen, I am not a conspiracy theorist in any way. Maybe a little bit. Maybe there's some things happening. Like, you know what? That could potentially have some truth to it. But a lot of the time, I'm like... You're being crazy. But this situation, I don't think is a conspiracy. I think somebody somewhere made a simple mistake that it's like, you need to you need to do better. For those of you who don't know, I barely know. Kate Middleton of Wales is the princess of Wales. And she is in the royal family in the UK. She kind of went like, not missing, but she's kind of gone into a hospital, hospital I believe for an operation and people are like, where is she? Why, are, where is she? Why are you hiding her from us? Her Royal Highness Kate Middleton has been declared missing by her fans and the conspiracy is that she may be in a coma. The last time she was seen was Christmas day at a public gathering with her family and now it's almost March. That is unheard of. Three weeks after that day on January 17th, she was admitted to the hospital to undergo a planned abdominal surgery. And she was scheduled to leave after two weeks, but has never been seen leaving. Meanwhile, King Charles actually had to go to the hospital that same exact day to get a procedure done. So someone is salt burning the royal family. The king was actually seen leaving, waving to his fans. Kate Middleton also canceled all her public appearances until April. She's gone, girl. This is where the conspiracy gets crazy. A Spanish journalist reported that there were complications during her surgery that caused the hospital to take drastic measures to save her life. And they allegedly had to induce her into a coma. Just this week, Prince William canceled on giving a speech at his godfather's memorial because of an urgent family matter. It must be very bad. Or maybe she's in the Princess Protection Program or filming The Masked Singer. But it gets juicy when you learn that this is all coming to light when they were rumored to be having major marital troubles and that they were about to divorce or he was about to leave her for his mistress. Evidence of that includes that William went back to using his old stamp signature. He would always use the one reserved for them as a couple, but now he went back to just the big W signature for William. As if she's just not there anymore. So was she silent or was she silenced? We will find you, girl. There's been speculation of body doubles. She was seen in a car and everyone was like, that's not really her. There has been this whole conspiracy even to a point where in our celebrity Big Brother, one of the contestants asked Kate Middleton's uncle who was in it, they were like, where's Kate? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What's, where's Kate? Um, so because she doesn't want to talk about it. We can't talk about it. I, I, the last thing I'm going to do is, th th there's, there's the kind of code of etiquette. Uh, if, if, if it's announced, I'll give you an opinion. I hope she's okay. I think the most important thing, with, well, I, I know I spoke to her sister, her mum, my sister. She's getting the best care in the world. And all the, the family's down, is put the wagons around and look after family first before anything else. But I do think they put, in, they put okay. a statement out and just said, we just take some time to recoup and we'll see you in Easter. I've heard mixed things about Kate and I don't want to make a comment, but whatever it is, you want her to come back? Or, or she, if one were in? Yeah. She's, she's, she's amazing. She'll be back. Of course she will. Good. So in kind of like response to this, Prince William, who is his, her husband, <laughs> Prince of Wales, on Mother's Day posted a picture to his Instagram account. And this picture has people going crazy. And I can see why. The caption says, thank you for your kind wishes and continued support over the last two Months. Oh, this is their joint Instagram account. That's kind of, that's controlling. Wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day. And then the photo credit is Prince of Wales 2024. Doesn't really say when, but I believe Kate went into hospital early January. Now, this looks like a nice picture of Kate and their three children who I don't know their names. I'm sorry. We're not always into a royal family as people like to think we are. The girl, look, she do, she looks like the queen when she was younger, right? And you have her two boys. Let's just look at some of the comments on this post. Um, This photo looks doctors, doctored. <laughs> oh, she knows names. Catherine's right hand, which is Kate, um, and around Louis, which is the boy in the green jumper, is entirely blurry. And the left hand around Charlotte, who is the girl? Same distance to the camera is not, or at the same distance to the camera is not, and and either is Louis' jumper. I don't know what you're saying. In that comment, I don't understand what they're saying. And then everyone's pretty angry, right? They're like, go solve a murder mystery and block this account. Oh, and block this account. Someone says, I think the whole picture looks odd. And everyone, everyone's super angry. This person's like, go fuck yourself to this woman who's saying this picture looks strange. Someone's like, oh look, a conspiracy theorist. Do you also believe the earth is flat? People are getting really, really defensive over this. But let's take a look at the picture. There is no doubt that in this picture, 
something is is not right. So this person called Nerdy Teacher on Twitter said I wasn't in on this whole conspiracy about Kate Middleton missing and the royals covering it up until they dropped this obviously fake photo today to appease public concern. I do photography and work with post processing slash editing a lot. Here are just a few unexplainable issues. And they've gone ahead and circled some errors and we're going to take a look at a lot of them today. And I do just want to say I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't believe they are trying to cover stuff up. I do just believe that this is a really poorly um, edited picture. Someone's tried to go, go in and edit it and it's not, they haven't done it very well. I think the intent was to, um, you know, calm down the British people who care that much about her. Um, not saying we shouldn't care about her, but just let her recover. You know what I mean? And I think they have this thing in their mind that people are going wild. This picture, in fact, probably made it worse than how it was before. This picture circles a million things that could possibly be wrong with this picture. So let's zoom into a few things and see what is going on. Let's start with Charlotte here on the right. We have this knee which has been circled because I it, because it's blurry around the edge. Now the, the background looks blurred in general so I think that might just be where they went around the edges and blurred it. I don't think it's anything dodgy there. We have this circle which looks like it's actually around the pocket. It looks like a pocket sticking out off the dress and I don't think anything is dodgy there. However, when we come to this sleeve, we can clearly see where they've left a part of the sleeve on and altered the rest. I don't know why they would have to do that because they've built the dress up underneath. It's very strange. We have an indent in the hand, <laughs> in Kate's hand, which could just be her hand but it does look like it's been manipulated in some way. Charlotte's hair is cut off and you can see that, you know, there's wisps that are appearing out of nowhere. They're saying her mouth is strange, which um, I don't think it really is. The hair on her shoulder has been completely cut off as well. Um, and you can see around this edging here, you can use like a clone stamp and, and, and clone the sleeve up to that area. So it looks like perhaps they've maybe tried to tidy up the hair um, and it hasn't quite worked as well as they thought it would. Let's go to the kid on the other side. Is this Louis? I don't know which one he is. Pavement, which has been altered in strange ways uh, that seem kind of unnecessary. The background, the step behind him is also altered. It's been kind of, I don't know what's happening there. It's like chipped away at. <laughs> Again, it's like they tried to clone it or tidy it up and left it there. Um, we have a very strange hand situation. Everyone's kind of like, what is going on? And trying to cross their fingers like this, which I guess you can kind of do. I guess if you're young, it's easier, right? And I, this finger does look massive compared to the other one, like in that picture. So I don't think that's too crazy in any way. This jumper here, the sweater, has this very strange like, um, I guess manipulated edging. It looks kind of indented. It does look, it just does look weird. When you think of like AI things, it looks a little bit strange. People are also circling bits in the windows, but to me, it looks like when people try and paint the frames and it just goes a little bit dodgy. Someone also spotted that the pattern on his shoulder is irregular in the pattern to the rest of the, the, the what he's wearing. It's the same uniform the whole way across until it gets to that side where it looks like it couldn't quite be detailed enough. And let's be real, that one in particular clothing item is gonna be pricey. I don't think a mistake like that would have been made. Let's get to Kate herself. Now there's been a lot, a lot, a lot of speculation. Let's just go to the floor because I don't quite understand some of these. I don't know why they've circled the front. That back bit that they circled, I think it's just one of those lips that you kind of pull up on, on the shoe. I've seen people comment about the length of the laces and that kind of thing. And that's like a little bit too far, really. We have some pictures that have been lightened, right? To kind of show some more detail where certain parts of the image have been blurred. Um, which you can do again on Photoshop. The hair, Kate's hair has been blurred quite a lot. Um, her, and it's always around her hands, like they've been added in. Um, and maybe they've tried to soften the join. This video I found extremely interesting, where they lighten the image and there's almost like this cutoff from here to here that looks like it was a separate picture pop into the picture. So obviously people are speculating that they've added her face on top from another time. And in this particular areas on Kate, especially around the hairline up here, this looks like they've taken off some hair. Um, I don't know why I did that. From around the, the, um, the back child's chin area and they've left this chunk of hair. These are all Photoshop mistakes. They are very, very obvious 
Photoshop mistakes. I found this very interesting as well. A guy called Chris Ship ITV. Oh, I guess he works for ITV, which is like a, a TV, uh, um, a channel in the UK. No comment from Kensington Palace tonight after at least three international pictures agencies refused to distribute this morning's photo of Kate and her children. Some of them have claimed the source, the palace, has manipulated the image. There's a kill notification next to it, which is basically a document saying no one posts this, it's done, it's done. It says, clients, please be advised that the following story has been killed and should no longer be used. Story title, UK Royals Princess. Date of original transmission, March 10th, 2024. The reason for killing the story. At closer inspection, it appears that the source has manipulated the image. No replacement photo will be sent. Please remove it from all platforms, including social, where it may still be visible. So they're basically saying we can't use this image because it's been manipulated. It is a false image. It's just been released by the royal family, showing the Princess of Wales and her children for Mother's Day. Respectfully, no, it doesn't. And with an election coming up, we all need to be better at media literacy. So let's take a look at this obviously, very obviously fake photo, if you know what to look for. First of all, that th this is obviously very poorly composited. That cuff, Charlotte's cuff, l look at this. This is very obviously, let me get myself out of the way here. Very obviously composited, very poor poor work. Might even be AI, but very bad work. And I've worked in this, in the media industry, on and off, in and out, media entertainment for literally 20 years. So I know what I'm talking about. Very poorly done work here. That's A. B, look at all the kids. Look at all the kids, right? They're all looking right at the camera, right down the barrel of the lens, right? Making eye contact with you, right? Now look at Kate. Completely different eye line. She's looking over there. Why would she be looking over there when they're all looking right at down the barrel of the camera? This is a fake composited photo. It's very poor work, okay? The palace clearly knows that most people are just going to fall for it. Eventually, AI will be good enough that stuff like this won't happen anymore and we'll have no way of knowing, probably. Extremely reputable news sources are now coming out and saying that this newly released image of Kate Middleton with her children, which was released by Kensington Palace, is most likely fake or manipulated. This new image of Kate is a very big deal, specifically from Kensington Palace, because we haven't seen her at an official event since Christmas, which is over two months ago. A lot of conspiracies started during her disappearance. Even though Kensington Palace says it was just her, like, recovering from an abdominal surgery, the internet had other ideas. So now we have this new photo which take it with a grain of salt despite it being from the palace so no matter what your opinion is on you know are they hiding kate Mill i don't i don't know what the conspiracy theory is there is no doubt that this image has been manipulated in some way whether they were all together and someone's tried to perfect it too much your sleeve's too baggy your hair's a mess this kind of thing however the mistakes made in it don't look like a human error it does kind of look like someone tried to use ai to do it and perhaps weren't as clever with it as they thought they were. There's even some details like in the background, the trees, the pavements, all things like this that just don't make sense. I do believe they haven't get done themselves any favors in this in this situation, right? All they have to do is be honest. I don't, to be honest with you, I don't even care what's going on. It's none of my business. It's their family. Let them deal. But I do just think that their PR team, whatever, is very old fashioned, very out of touch. You need to get someone in there who's just gonna be like, you know, just straight up be honest. You know, you're, you're losing the millennials. Okay, do excuse my super shiny skin because I've done my evening skincare routine. But, well, it's a late afternoon. I'm just being lazy. There has been an update on a situation from um, Twitter. The Prince and Princess of Wales, so I'm reading from the screen, at Kensington Royal. Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. Catherine. Here's the deal with that. The editing manip manipulation and mistakes for somebody who uses Photoshop and uses um, apps, you know, to edit. I am a beauty influencer after all, <laughs> despite this look now, that's my main job, right? I use apps to retouch occasionally if I'm not selling something um, and Photoshop as well. The 
the mistakes made on this image were Photoshop mistakes. You can't make those mistakes on a phone. So unless she's recovering and playing around on Photoshop, I just don't believe that at all. Again, just be real and just be like, you know, we tried to make a nice family picture and it, we didn't realise it was so terrible. Um, yeah, let me know your opinions down below. Um, it's a strange one. It's a weird one uh, that they would do something like this. I just think it's like, just, you, you took it too far now. You've made it even worse for yourself. All right, thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.